Hello, my name is Jiung Che, and I'm going to present our paper, Active Learning for Deep Object Detection via Probability Modeling. This work was carried out with Ismail, Professor Lee, Clement, and Jose. Active Learning method involves the deep learning model in the selection of what image to learn from. This can boost the accuracy of the model and reduce the labeling cost. A key component of active learning is the scoring function. It computes the network's uncertainty, selecting to label the most informative images for the model, and it aims at providing a single value per image, representing its informativeness. There are two current limitations that we have solved. First, active learning requires high computational cost. Current methods use multiple models such as Ensemble or MC Jobao to estimate electric and epistemic uncertainties. These methods are accurate but computationally inefficient. Second, for object detection, current methods do not consider uncertainty in the localization net. Most methods are straightforward extension of classification method. Although it is active learning for object detection, they rely on heuristic methods to estimate localization uncertainty or cannot estimate it at all. To address these limitations, we propose a method based on mixture density networks to obtain the uncertainty of object in an image using a single model and single fold pass. In addition, we propose a scoring function that leverages both classification and localization uncertainties to achieve state-of-the-art performance. This figure is an overview of the proposed object detection network. The main difference of our model with a conventional object detector is in the localization and classification has. To predict the electric and epistemic uncertainty of localization and classification tasks, we model each of the bounding box coordinate and class scores as the parameters of Gaussian mixture model. There are three components, pi, mu, and sigma. Please refer to the description of the slide for the meaning of each parameter in the figure. We also propose a method to reduce the computational cost of classification as by removing the variance parameter. Please refer to our paper for more details on this. Given the parameters of a Gaussian mixture model, we can compute electric uncertainty using pi and sigma, and we can compute epistemic uncertainty using pi and mu parameters. We compute bound box coordinates and class scores of the proposed model by summing the pi and mu parameters. These are a proposed loss function for localization and classification. Please also refer to our paper for more details on this. The proposed object detection network trained with a proposed loss function outputs bound box coordinate, class scores, and two types of uncertainty for each task. In other words, our model output four uncertainty values for object detection task. We leverage these four uncertainties in the scoring function for active learning. For leveraging these values, we first normalize these four values using G-score normalization to compensate for the fact that each uncertainty of an image has a different range of values. In localization, there are four bounding box coordinates, each with one electric and epistemic uncertainty respectively. We take the maximum to specify a representative value for each uncertainty. Finally, we use maximum value among the four uncertainties of all objects as final image's informativeness score. Experimental results of score aggregation functions based on several combinations of these uncertainties are presented in our paper. This is an active learning comparison to published works using a single model for scoring. We use Pascal Bouchy dataset in this experiment. As shown, our method outperforms all the other single model based methods during active learning. We compare our active learning approach with multimodal based methods on Pascal Bouchy dataset. As shown in the left figure, our method performs on par with MC Strobot and Ensemble based methods. Importantly, our approach uses a single fold pass of a single model to estimate the uncertainties. This is much faster compared to MC Strobot and Ensembles and our model size is much smaller than Ensemble as shown in the live figure. Therefore, our method provides the best trade-off between accuracy and computational cost. In addition to these experiments, there is a more comprehensive set of experiments in our paper. Please see our paper for more details. Thank you for listening.